My name is Mathieu Beausoleil, and although I'm not a classically trained chef, my passion for cooking and refined palate have earned me great respect in the culinary industry. Join me as I taste my way around the world, one bite at a time. This is Taking a Bite, Ottawa. All right, Chef Dave, we're at dish number two. Dish number two, this is something I am super excited about. Um, so what, we, what we've done with our lamb dish, it's a duo of lamb. Okay. Uh, we really wanted to focus on bringing in the whole animal. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Preparing the tender cuts accordingly, whether it be the rack or the saddle or even some, some cuts from the legs. Um, and then taking the tougher cuts, bracing them down. So in this dish, that's great, yeah. uh, this dish is a take on the classic lamb navrin. Uh, okay. It's a classic French stew. Yep. Um, so what we have on the plate is we have a combination of braised and some tender cuts. Nice. Uh, the nice, cuts nice. that I have here, uh, we've got the loin that we've taken off the rack. Okay. Uh, so as that's well. like that regular, the rack that everybody knows, right? Yeah, that exactly. The one that like you, you go to a restaurant, you order a rack of lamb. Well, it, it's for us, we, we, we sort of wanted to make sure that we could do justice to the whole animal. Uh, the lambs man. that we're getting are all from within about an hour of, of Ottawa. That's awesome. Some of the ways that we prepare it differently, this one here is actually, um, if you take a nice look at that, we've got um, it's the loin portion that's been wrapped in the belly. Uh, then we trust it up so that we can sort of sear that off. Sear's done. Sear's done. We'll take it off the heat now. Right. I'll give you this so you don't burn yourself. Awesome. Let's throw it into a nice hot oven just to finish off the roasting. So we're gonna get started on the pilaf right. for our lamb dish. Okay. So we're gonna start sweating these off. Perfect. So you got a, a pan here starting to warm up. Awesome, okay. We'll get you to just scoop it all into the pan. That's perfect. So we'll start sweating this off. Now right. I bet you're wondering what this little guy is here. That is definitely an interesting piece of meat. So I was telling you earlier that we use, we're use we using up the whole animal. So we had that yeah. one portion awesome. that we took yeah. the loin that we wrapped in the belly. Yep. Well, we had the first time we got in was split down the middle so we had two portions of the belly. So what we've done with this, uh, one of our cooks, he's a master master butcher and cool. a master at cured meats. Right. Uh, so using some of his knowledge, we've cured it into a pancetta. So we're actually nice. going to cube up some of this uh, lamb pancetta, and we're going to throw it into the pot as well. Pancetta, pancetta, prosciutto. So pancetta, it's it's uh, like sort of like bacon minus the smoke. Okay. So Perfect. it's 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 cured, uh, except instead of going for a nice smoke, it's just hung to dry. You might see it to, traditionally; it's rolled up into a tube. Thing we're going to do is we're going to add our Dupuis lentils. Dupuis lentils? What are Dupuis lentils? They are a French lentil. Okay. Uh, some French chefs say that they are the best lentil. Uh, awesome. They are whole. These take a while to cook. Okay. Uh, first step we're going to do though is with everything that's sweating off, we're going to add these just to get them a light, a light little toast. A light little toast, okay. Grab your weapon of choice. My weapon Start of Start stirring choice. away. So a little red wine in a squeeze bottle for good little, measure. For good measure, a little bit, a little bit of red wine. Nice and glaze. That's perfect. All right, I'll take that. Give that a little stir here. I feel and like we, I'm making a risotto. Exactly. I was just about to say we we, we cook cook this very much like you're making risotto. A little bit of deglaze with some wine. Awesome. And the next step I'm going to get you to do is we've got a. a an insert over there with some lamb jus that we've made. All right. We've made using the using the carcass from the lamb. Okay. I'll get you to add a, a couple tables or a couple ladlefuls of that into the pot. Just enough to cover the lentils, and then we'll slowly simmer it. So what we'll do is we'll keep going back to it, covering with uh, covering, make sure it's covered with water until the lentils have completely hydrated and they're all nice and delicious. So now we're basically going to let the lentils absorb the liquid, yep. the, the broth, and the wine. Yep. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we've now uh, let our lamb um, rest. Yep. How long did we let it rest? 
Nor the rule of thumb is typically you want to do a half the amount of time it took you to cook. Perfect. So, so if it took you eight minutes to yeah. cook, you want to rest it for at least four minutes. Awesome. For us, with our pickup times, we like to let it rest the longer the better. Yeah. Uh, you cut it into it too soon, you'll get blood sort of purging right. everywhere. You want those juices to stay in the meat. Look at that height, Chef Dave. Last little garnish with some beautiful nasturtium shoots. Nice. A couple little flowers here and there. Try to do everything in odd numbers, so three, one, three, one three, three, five is kind of what we do. And there you go, there you have it. That's our, uh, our lamb navron. Nice, all right, so now you expect me to do the same now you gotta, thing. Now you gotta repeat this. Look at that. That's perfect. Look at that. All right. We're going to get our flaked salt. And Beautiful. then we're going to get our nice couple little nasturtium leaves. Nasturtium leaves. Like that. And voila. And there you go. Perfect. High five. Woo! I think I, I, I don't know, I think I did pretty good. I Chef think, Dave. I think that's... Chef Dave. That's right on there. Chef Dave. That's perfect. That's awesome. I like it. I'll take that any day. Well, Chef Dave, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for having me. It was great to compete with you and do a pretty good, maybe a bit better. Pretty good job. I mean, no, you, work, you on some, work on some dicing, but that's about it. That's, takes, practice makes perfect. Yeah, that's right. So, you know what? It's been a pleasure, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you again, and uh, definitely uh, look forward to dining here again. Awesome. Thank All you right. so much. Appreciate it. You.